Sefer Bemidbar, the Book of Numbers, Chapter 16, Torah Parsha, Korak, Torah Portion, Korah, and Korak, son of Yitzhar, son of Kahat, son of Lewi, took both Datan and Abiram, the sons of Eliab, and On, son of Pelet, sons of Reuben. And they rose up before Moshe with some of the children of Israel, 250 leaders of the congregation, called ones of the meeting, men of name. And they assembled against Moshe and against Aharon and said to them, Enough of you, for all the congregation is set apart, all of them. And Yahuwah is in their midst. Why then do you lift up yourselves above the assembly of Yahuwah? And when Moshe heard, he fell on his face and spoke to Karak and all his company, saying, Tomorrow morning Yahuwah shall make known who is his and who is set apart, and bring near to him, and let him bring near to him the one whom he chooses. Do this. Take fire holders, Korak, and all your company, and put fire in them and put incense in them before Yahuwah tomorrow. And it shall be that the one whom Yahuwah chooses is the set-apart one. Enough of you, sons of Lewi. And Moshe said to Korak, Hear now, you sons of Lewi. Is it little to you that the Elohim of Yisrael has separated you from the congregation of Yisrael? to bring you near to himself, to perform the service of the dwelling place of Yahuwah, and to stand before the congregation to serve them, and that he has brought you near to himself, you and all your brothers, the sons of Lewi, with you. Yet you seek the priesthood as well? Therefore you and all your company are set against Yahuwah, and Aharon, what is he that you grumbled against him? And Moshe sent to call Datan and Abiram, the sons of Eliab. But they said, We are not coming up. Is it little that you have brought us up out of a land flowing with milk and honey, to kill us in the wilderness, that you would also seize total rule over us? Also, you have not brought us into a land flowing with milk and honey, nor given us inheritance of fields and vineyards. Would you bore out the eyes of these men? We are not coming up. And Moshe became very displeased and said to Yahuwah, Do not respect their offering. I have not taken one donkey from them, nor have I done harm to any of them. Then Moshe said to Korah, Tomorrow you and all your company shall be there before Yahuwah, you and they and Aharon. And take each one his fire holder, and you shall put incense in it. And let each one bring his fire holder before Yahuwah, two hundred and fifty fire holders, and you and Aharon, each one with his fire holder. So each one took his fire holder and put fire in it, and laid incense on it, and stood at the door of the tent of appointment with Moshe and Aharon. And Korak assembled all the congregation against them at the door of the tent of appointment. Then the esteem of Yahuwah appeared to all the congregation. And Yahuwah spoke to Moshe and to Aharon, saying, Separate yourselves from the midst of this congregation, and let me consume them in a moment. But they fell on their faces and said, O El, Elohim of the spirits of all flesh, when one man sins, are you wroth with all the congregation? And Yahuwah spoke to Moshe, saying, Speak to the congregation, saying, Move away from around the tents of Korak, Dathan, and Abiram. So Moshe rose up and went to Dathan and Abiram, and the elders of Israel followed him. And he spoke to the congregation, saying, Please, turn away from the tents of these wrong men. Do not touch whatever belongs to them, that should be consumed in all their sins. Then they moved away from around the tents of Korah, Dathan, and Abiram. And Dathan and Abiram came out 
and stood at the door of their tents with their wives and their sons and their little children. Moshe said, By this you know that Yahuwah has sent me to do all these works, that they are not from my own heart. If these die as all men do, or if they are visited as all men are visited, then Yahuwah has not sent me. But if Yahuwah creates what is unheard of, and the earth opens its mouth and swallows them up with all that belongs to them, and they go down alive into Sheol, then you shall know that these men have scorned Yahuwah. And it came to be, as he ended speaking all these words, that the ground under them split apart, and the earth opened, opened its mouth and swallowed them up, with their households and all the men with Korak, with all their goods. So they and all those with them went down alive into Sheol, and the earth closed over them, and they perished from the midst of the assembly. And all Israel who were around about them fled at their cry, for they said, Lest the earth swallow us up. And the fire came out from Yahuwah and consumed the 250 men who were offering incense. And Yahuwah spoke to Moshe, saying, Say to Eleazar, son of Aharon the priest, to pick up the fire holders out of the blaze, for they are set apart, and scatter the fire some distance away. The fire holders of these men who sinned against their own lives, let them be made into beaten plates as a covering for the slaughter place, because they brought them before Yahuwah, therefore they are set apart. And let them become a sign to the children of Israel. And Eleazar the priest took the bronze fire holders, which those who were burnt up had brought, and they were beaten out as a covering on the slaughter place. A remembrance to the children of Israel that no stranger who is not of the seed of Aharon should come near to offer incense before Yahuwah, and not be like Korak and his company, as Yahuwah had said to him through Moshe. But all the congregation of the children of Israel grumbled against Moshe and against Aharon on the next day, saying, You, you have killed the people of Yahuwah. And it came to be, when the congregation assembled against Moshe and against Aharon, that they turned toward the tent of meeting. And see, the cloud covered it, and the esteem of Yahuwah appeared. And Moshe and Aharon came before the tent of appointment. And Yahuwah spoke to Moshe, saying, Arise from amidst this congregation, and let me consume them in a moment. And they fell on their faces. So Moshe said to Aharon, Take the fire holder and put fire in it from the slaughter place, and lay incense on, and go. Hurry to the congregation and make atonement for them, for wrath has gone out from Yahuwah. The plague has begun. Naharon took it as Moshe commanded, and ran into the midst of the assembly, and saw that the plague had begun among the people. And he laid on the incense and made atonement for the people, and stood between the dead and the living, and the plague was stopped. And those who died in the plague were 14,700, besides those who died on account of Korah. Then Aharon returned to Moshe at the door of ten of appointment, for the plague had stopped. And Yahuwah spoke to Moshe, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, and take from them a rod from each father's house, all their leaders, according to their father's houses, twelve rods. Write each one's name on his rod, and write Aharon's name on the rod of Lewi, for there is one rod for the head of each father's house. You shall then place them in the tent of appointment before the witness, where I meet with you. And it shall be that the rod of the man whom I choose buds, and I shall rid myself of the grumblings of the children of Israel, which they grumble against you. And Moshe spoke to the children of Israel, and all their leaders gave him a rod each, for each leader according to their father's houses, twelve rods, and the rod of Aharon was among their rods. So Moshe placed the rods before Yahuwah in the tent of the witness, and it came to be on the next day that Moshe went into the tent of the witness, 
and saw that the rod of Aaron of the house of Lewi had budded, and brought forth buds, and blossomed, and bore ripe almonds. And Moshe brought out all the rods before Yahuwah to all the children of Israel, and they looked, and each man took his rod. And Yahuwah said to Moshe, Bring Aharon's rod back before the witness, to be kept as a sign against the rebels, so that you put an end to their grumblings against me, lest they die. Moshe did as Yahuwah had commanded him, so he did. And the children of Israel spoke to Moshe, saying, See, we shall die, we shall perish, we shall all perish. Anyone who comes near the dwelling place of Yahuwah dies. Shall we be consumed to die? And Yahuwah said to Aharon, You and your sons and your father's house with you are to bear the crookedness against the set-apart place. And you and your sons with you are to bear the crookedness against your priesthood. But bring with you your brothers of the tribe of Lewi too, the tribe of your father, to join you and serve you while you and your sons are with you before the tent of the witness. And they shall guard your charge and the duty of all the tent that they do not come near the furnishings of the set-apart place and the slaughter place, lest they die, both they and you. And they shall be joined with you and guard the duty to the tent of appointment for all the service of the tent, but a stranger does not come near you. And you shall guard the duty of the set-apart place and the duty of the set of slaughter place, so that there be no more wrath on the children of Israel. And see, I myself have taken your brothers, the Lewin, from the midst of the children of Israel, a gift to you, given by Yahuwah, to do the service of the tent of appointment. But you and your sons with you are to guard your priesthood for all matters, at the slaughter place, and behind the veil, and you shall serve. I have given you the priesthood as a gift for service, but the stranger who comes near is put to death. And Yahuwah spoke to Aaron, And see, I myself have also given you the charge of my contributions. All the set-apart gifts of the children of Israel I have given them to you for the anointing and to your sons as a law forever. This is yours of the most set-apart from the fire, all their offerings, all their grain offerings, and all their sin offerings, and all their guilt offerings, which they rendered to me, are most set apart for you and your sons. Eat it in the most set apart place. Every male eats it. It is set apart to you. This also is yours, the contribution of their gift, with all the wave offerings of the children of Israel. I have given them to you and your sons and daughters with you as a law forever. Everyone who is clean in your house eats it. All the best of the oil and all the best of the new wine and the grain, their first fruits, which they give to Yahuwah, I have given them to you. The first fruits of all that is in their land, which they bring to Yahuwah, are yours. Everyone who is clean in your house eats it. All that is dedicated in Israel is yours. Everyone opening a womb of all flesh, which they bring to Yahuwah, whether man or beast is yours, but to ransom, you shall ransom the firstborn of man and the firstborn of the unclean beast you ransom. And ransom their ransomed ones when one new moon old, according to your valuation, five shekels of silver, according to the shekels of the set apart place, which is 20 garaz. But the firstborn of a cow or the firstborn of a sheep or the firstborn of a goat, you do not ransom. They are set apart, sprinkle their blood on the slaughter place, and burn their fat as an offering made by fire for a sweet fragrance to Yahuwah. And their flesh is yours, as the wave breast and as the right thigh, it is yours. All the contributions of the set apart gifts which the children of Israel present to Yahuwah I have given to you and your sons and daughters with you as a law forever. It is a covenant of salt forever for Yahuwah with you and your seed with you. And Yahuwah said to Aharon, You are not to have an inheritance in their land, nor have any portion in their midst. I am your portion and your inheritance among the children of Yisrael. 
And see, I have given the children of Lewi all the tithes in Yisrael as an inheritance in return for the service which they are serving, the service of the tent of appointment. And let the children of Yisrael no more come near the tent of appointment, lest they bear sin and die. Because the Lewim shall do the service of the tent of appointment, so they themselves bear their crookedness. A law forever throughout your generations, that among the children of Israel they are to have no inheritance, but the tithes of the children of Israel, which they present as a contribution to Yahuwah, I have given to the Lewim as an inheritance. That is why I have said to them, Among the children of Israel they have no inheritance. Yahuwah spoke to Moshe, saying, Speak to the Lewim and say to them, When you take from the children of Israel the tithes which I have given you from them as your inheritance, then you shall present a contribution of it to Yahuwah, a tenth of the tithe. And your contribution shall be reckoned to you as grain from the threshing floor and as filling from the wine press. Thus you also present a contribution unto Yahuwah from all your tithes which you receive from the children of Israel. And you shall give from it the contribution to Yahuwah to Aharon the priest. From all your gifts you present every contribution due to Yahuwah, from all the best of them to set apart part of them. And you shall say to them, When you have presented the best of it, then the rest shall be reckoned to Lewim as the yield of the threshing floor, and as the yield of the wine press. And you shall eat it in any place, you and your households, for it is your reward for your service in the tent of appointment. And bear no sin because of it when you have presented the best of it, and do not profane the set-apart gifts of the children of Israel, lest you die. Salah.